We have a unique program here. We have the high school side of it, but we also have our postgraduates. So not only do we want our swimmers to swim fast, we want them to be successful in college. Obviously, the facilities are amazing, and the whole program, it's a very holistic program. We have the water component. We have Michael Johnson performance for our dry land. We also have our food component. Whatever that goal is for that swimmer, we want to make it a reality and really achieve something spectacular. This is Streamline News for July 6, 2012, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Exciting statistics followed last week's USA Swimming Olympic Trials in Omaha. NBC and USA Swimming have announced that six of the eight final sessions made the list of NBC's most watched programs last week. No other trials have appeared on the list more than once, and swimming beat out all but a single session of gymnastics trials on Sunday. More than double the viewers watched this meet compared to four years ago. However, all eight nights were live this year on NBC, while only four of the eight were live back in 2008. USA Paralympic swimmer Rudy Garcia Tolson will pull a double at the Olympics in London. Garcia Tolson, already a two-time Paralympic winner in the 200 IM in 2004 and 100 breaststroke in 2008, will compete in the T42 division for track and field as well as inside the Aquatic Center. Garcia Tolson has several birth defects, including Terry Jump Syndrome and webbed hands, but those haven't stopped the rise through the ranks of one of America's top Paralympians. Two Olympic swimming medalists have also made their way into the National Jewish Sports Hall of Fame. Garrett Webergell made the list after winning two relay gold medals in the 2008 Olympics, and Marilyn Romanofsky received an invitation off her silver medal swim back in 1964 Tokyo Olympics. The USA Olympic water polo team is in the midst of a four-game series against Hungary. After defeating the Hungarians 17-18 on Monday at Stanford, the Americans dominated the same Hungarian team on Wednesday, winning 14-18 at the National Water Polo Training Center in Los Almitos. The Americans have matches remaining today in San Diego and then on Sunday in Newport Beach. The Newport Beach match will be televised live on NBC Sports Network at 3 p.m. local time. That concludes today's Streamline News. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.